the Pioneers won their fourth state championship on Saturday evening. 4 Belmont defeated No. 4 Belmont 25-15, 25-16, 22-25, 25-16 in the Class 3A final at Ball State University's Worthen Arena. We've said from the beginning that's what we wanted, to end our season on a happy note, not a cry of sadness, said sophomore middle hitter Abdulius. Coming out and winning like we did, incredible. Julius had a team high 15 kills to pace the Pioneers, who have built a very balanced defensive attack throughout the season. Juniors Lily Kaiser and Mackenzie Wagner added 14, while Lily Tapple added 12 for a total and Nicole Stratford added 9 for Providence, which set 3A records in kills, 67, hitting percentage, .315, and assists, 65. Senior setter Grace Purikia made a 3A record 56 assists. We were able to do everything the other team did to us, said Providence coach Terry Purikia. Sometimes it was a victory for the middlemen. Sometimes it won with a pen. Sometimes it was Grace who was going to throw the ball into a corner or give her a chance to hit something effective from the front row. My husband calls it the joy committee. There is no star in the team. They're just tough kids who do their job and when it's their turn, they go out there and do what the team needs. I think that's the strength of this team and that's why they are celebrating with a state championship, which is just a dream come true. The program's fourth title did not come easily, although Providence did make it easier at times. The Pioneers, 31-6, dominated the first two sets before going down in the third. They dropped to fourth place before rallying to win the championship trophy for the first time in seven years. I am very proud of the team, they played a great game, Purikia said. Belmont put a lot of pressure on us in that third set and he played really well in the fourth set, so being able to stop his run, was huge, we rallied ourselves and really with some fire. Finished so we didn't have to go into that fifth set. I'm very proud of the way he played and kept himself in control and got the job done. In the first set, the Pioneers took a 9-6 lead and took the lead by 7-1. Caesar's three murders took place in that wave. Providence's lead reached 11, 24-13, late. The Braves collected the next two points before killing Tapple to give the Pioneers a 10-point victory. We just came out swinging, said Julius who finished with a .619 hitting percentage. We were picking up every ball and reading everything great. We just wanted to start like this. We said from the beginning that we wanted to start that way and we did. Our hitters were slamming it, Kaiser said. Our offense was really fast and I didn't think they could keep it up. Providence dominated in the second set, vying for the win. The Pioneers scored the first eight points of the set. His run was uncovered by Kaiser's three murders and Wagner's two. The Braves, 30-7, made a comeback, with Providence coming back within 12-8 for a nine-point victory. Senior defensive specialist Taylor Bainsbox said, We came out with a bang. We had strength on our side. We were playing clean, we were playing well. Everyone was in the game as he should have been. We kicked them both out. The Pioneers carried that momentum to the third set and for a while, it looked like they were on their way to a sweep. Belmont fought back before advancing to Providence 15-9. If you like the video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so don't miss the upcoming videos. Thanks all.